Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about graphing logs. So make sure you have a pen and a pencil, your notes, and a calculator, and we will be putting down three graphs today. So just a heads up there. All right. If we think back, now you guys, you don't have to write this one down, okay? We already have done these ones when we're talking about exponential functions and we're graphing these. So when we graph this, our asymptote, because there's nothing here, remember, is going to be y equals 0. So I'm going to put that down there right away. Remember, we have to plug it in. We're going to put a dotted line at y equals 0. And then if I wanted to go through and graph this, I could. Negative 2.11, negative 3.33, 0, 1, 1, 3. 2, 9, and our graph is going to look something like this. Now, when we have this going on, we have our domain and range, which is also very important to remember. Our domain is our x values, which we can pick anything we want. So our x's are going to be all real numbers. Now, where as far as our range goes, our y value, we can't go past our asymptote right here. So if we can't go below that, our range has to be y such that y has to be greater than, remember, it's only greater than, not equal to, so greater than 0. Now, this is what we did last week. Today, what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about graphing log functions. So when we're graphing log functions, the first thing we want to do is rewrite this so that it looks like an exponent, because we know how to graph our exponential functions. So if I write this, I can rewrite this log function as y equals log base 3 of x. Now if I want to write this in exponential form, I can write, okay, my base is 3, so I have 3. My exponent is what's by itself, so to the y power equals x. So this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm going to be using to graph. Now, if we notice the distant difference from the last one, now our exponent is y instead of x. So when we come over to our graph, we have x and y. And instead of trying to figure out what our x values can be, we're going to plug in our y values. So we're going to come over here and we're going to plug in the same thing we did on our last ones. We're going to plug in negative 2 to positive 2. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. The difference is we're starting in our y part because we have y in our exponent form. Okay? So we go through and we're going to plug these in. So when you plug this into your calculator, you're just going to go 3 to the negative 2 power equals x. When you type that in your calculator, you're going to get 0.11 for x. If we plug in 3 to the negative 1, we're going to get 0.33. If we plug in 3 to the 0 power, we're just going to get 1. Plug in 3 to the first, we get 3. And we plug in 3 squared, we're going to get 9. So now we're going to go through, we're going to graph this. If we already, so we're going to go through, we're going to graph. So if we graph this, now this is really important. We start with our x is still only graph, so we're going to 0 0.11. So that's right next to my 0, and then I'm going to go down to, so I'm thinking somewhere about right there, and then I'm going to go to 0.33, negative 1 right here. Then I'm going to go to 1, 0. Then I'm going to go to 3, 1 and 9, 2. So now my graph looks something like this. Now if we look at this, this one here, we're getting closer and closer to a x value. So my asymptote, since I have nothing added or subtracted after my 3y, my asymptote now is going to be x equals 0. Okay, very important. So we're going to put our dotted line in here. So when we're working with log functions, ladies and gentlemen, our asymptote is going to be x equals. Very important. Now we also need to talk about our domain and range. Now since I'm plugging in whatever I want for my y values, my domain is not going to be my real this time. My range 
is going to be my all reals because I get to pick anything I want to plug into my y value. Now my domain this time is going to be different because my asymptote is x equals, so I'm going to work with whatever that is. If I look at my graph, I only have x values to the right of 0, so x such that x can be gr only greater than, it can't equal, it has to be greater than 0. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're kind of flipping, which gets to my next point right here, ladies and gentlemen. We want to write all of this down, okay? When we're doing a graph comparison here, exponential functions versus log functions, they are the inverse. They're the exact opposite of each other. So if we want this, make sure we have this down, okay? Exponential function, we're talking about domain being all reals. The range is going to be greater than zero. All right. And the asymptote is going to be y equals zero. So you see how our range and our asymptote go hand in hand here? And then over here, we're going to do the inverse, so we're switching things up. Now the range here is my all real numbers. The domain is x is greater than zero, because it's getting closer and closer to the x value. If we look here on our graph, and our asymptote is x equals zero. Okay, so now our domain and our asymptote go together because those are the ones that aren't all real numbers. So this one, make sure you guys get down. This is going to be very important for our comparison of log and exponential functions when we're graphing. All right, moving on, we have two more graphs to do. So this one, first thing I'm going to do is rewrite the problem. So I'm going to have y equals log base 3 of x minus 4. Now when I rewrite this, my base is 3, so I have 3, my exponent is y, to the y equals x minus 4. Now, because our last one we wanted to solve for x, so we have to get x by itself. In order to do that, we're just going to add 4 on both sides. So I'm going to get 3y plus 4 equals x. Okay, this is what I'm going to be working with, ladies and gentlemen, when I'm graphing. Same as before over here when we're making our graph. Now, since we're doing log functions, we're going to pick our y's. And just like we did for our exponential functions, we're going to rewrite this. And we're going to do negative, excuse me, negative 2 to 2. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So remember, we rewrote it in exponential form so we can graph it. Now, here, if we look, we can already see what our asymptote is, ladies and gentlemen, because now 3y isn't by itself. It has this plus 4 here. So our asymptote is going to be x equals 4. So that's something that we can know ahead of time and be aware of that. Now we're just going to type these into our calculator. So if we wanted to type this in, we type 3 to the negative 2 plus 4. And that's going to give us 4.11. 3 to the negative 1 plus 4 is going to give us 4.33. 3 to the 0 power plus 4 is going to give us 5. 3 to the 1st power plus 4 is going to give us 7. And 3 to the 2nd power plus 4 is going to give us 13. Now we're going to go ahead and graph this. So when we graph this, we already know our asymptote is x equals 4. So here's x equals 4. Now it's going to be a vertical line up and down, x equals 4. So we know we're not going to pass this line. Now when we're graphing, we're going to go 4.11 and negative 2. So 4.11 down 2 right here. Then we're going to go 4.33 down 1, 5, 0. 7, 1, and then off our table here will be 13, 2, somewhere about right here. Graph this. There we go. 
So here's our graph. Now we can end. We have to state our domain and range. So now remember, since I can pick anything for my y value, now my y's are going to be what equals all real numbers. Now we're talking about our domain. So what we're not crossing our asymptote. We can't do it. So our graph is to the right of it. If it's to the right of it, it's going to be greater than. So our x such that x is greater than, not equal to, very important, just greater than 4. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our last example. First thing we have to do, remember, get it in exponential form. So we're going to rewrite this. So y equals 5 plus log 3x. Now, first thing we have to do is get our log by itself. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. And I get y minus 5 equals log base 3x. Now I can start rewriting this. My base number is 3, so I have 3. This whole thing is my exponent. So my exponent is y minus 5 equals x. So since I have nothing added to my y and my exponent, my asymptote is going to be x equals 0. Now I can go ahead and plug in my x and y values. So y is going to go negative 2 to 2. And I'm going to plug it in. So if I plug this in, it's going to look like this. I'm going to have 3, and my x1 is negative 2 minus 5. And I plug that in, I'm going to get 0 0.0005. If I go to my next one, I'm going to get 3, negative 1, minus 5, and I get 0 0.001. 3 to the 0, minus 5, and I get 0 0.004. So as we can see, we're getting a little bit bigger, not very much at a time. So we have 3 to the 1, minus 5, which will give me 0 0.01. And I have 3 to the 2, minus 5, which gives me 0 0.03. Now, if you can see, we're not getting much larger very faster, but you can tell that our x values are getting larger. So if we wanted to, I could plug in a further one just to make sure we're going in the right direction. So if I plug in 7 and I go 3 to the 7 minus 2, or excuse me, 5, I'm going to get 9. So yes, we are getting larger. So when we're graphing this one, it's going to be even a little bit more trickier because we have such tiny numbers. So first thing I'm going to do is put in my asymptote. x equals 0. So a vertical line right here. x equals 0. And I graph this one as close as I can get to 0 is where I'm going to get for this one. And then I'm going to go down 2. So I'm like right about there. Still very, very close. And I'm going to go to negative 1. So these are barely moving. And then, so then I'm going to be at 0, and then 0.11, and then 0.2. So this is going up very, very, ever so slightly. But then when I get over to 9, I'm going to go up 7. So it's going to be go slow, 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 and it's going to be like whew, super fast to the finish, okay? So we're starting really small. We're getting larger. So last thing we have to do here, ladies and gentlemen, domain and range. Our, remember, our range is what we're picking whatever we want for our y values. So our y such that y equals all real numbers. And our domain is our x values. Now once again, it's to the right of my asymptote, so it's getting larger. So it's going to be x such that x is greater than 0. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful, fabulous day, and I'll be seeing you. Bye.